Hey, Tom Casey here talking to you about why things sweat. And not sweat like working out at the gym sweat, but I'm talking about air handling units, duct work, pipes, things in a mechanical system in a house or a building. Why do they sweat or condensate? It really comes down to one simple fact. Whenever that surface that's sweating is cooled down below dew point, it's going to have condensation form on it. So what causes sweating and condensation? Cold surfaces. Colder than dew point. Now dew point is something that changes based on weather, changes based on location, changes based on geography. Well, in the summertime, it's not unusual for dew points to be as high as the mid to upper 70s, meaning that if any surface got below, say, 75 degrees, it's now colder than dew point, and that surface will start to form condensation on the outside of it. Now we all know this because we go grab a bottle of water or a can of soda, and we go from the fridge and we walk to outside, immediately what happens on the outside of that can or that bottle? Little droplets of water start to form. It starts to sweat. Why? Because the fluid inside the bottle or can is cooling down the bottle or can, so the surface of the bottle or the can is below dew point. Boom, you have condensation. Now, location matters. The location, if my system is inside of the house, has one set of temperature and humidity conditions versus if it's in, say, a garage or up in a hot attic. So in a hot attic where temperatures are much hotter, dew points are also higher. So things can sweat when it doesn't have to get down as cold like, say, mid-70s. Maybe the dew point might be 20 or 30 degrees higher than that in an attic. So if the temperature of the air handling unit cabinet or the ducts got to just mid-90s or low 100s, that might be cold enough to make that surface sweat. So the takeaway in this video is the fact that when something is sweating, the bottom line is something is colder than dew point. Boom.